Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by my channel today. My name is Daryl and we are back on this tower assembly project. Now the last few videos we've put the tower together, we've mounted the rotor, we've mounted the thrust bearing, and in the last video we sent, we uh, brushed down and cleaned up my mast and got it painted. Now it's time to turn our attention to this antenna. Now this antenna has been sitting here in my shop for about the last two months and I'm finally ready to put it together. So, my plan is on the tower to have on the very top a dual band vertical. I have that tower or I have that antenna on my shop right now. I'm going to be pulling it down and putting it on the mast. This antenna will go underneath it. So it's a two meter uh, Yagi it's made by Cushcraft and it's the 13B2. And uh, I got my packing list here. And also, I bought this antenna from RNL Electronics. Now, RNL Electronics were great. They were the only ones that had this antenna when I went to order it. Um, I'll tell you what I paid for it. I paid uh, $357.47, and that is delivered. And that is cheaper than any of the other places that I had looked that didn't have the antenna, but were selling the antenna. So I got a pretty good deal there, and I'm pretty happy about it. So now the next step is to open this box up and find out if all the parts are in there. So let's do that. So on this box, it's there's a label right here. Uh, you can see it right here. It says, important, save this label. Contents of this package have been verified by weight. And then it says the date and what the weight is. And I assume that that's their way of making sure that all the parts are in the box. But, I don't believe any of that. <laughs> because things can still be missing. So I'm going to stop the camera here because i got these staples in here i got to pull out. And then we'll come back. Alright, I went and got my... Uh, needle nose pliers and we'll try to pull these staples out of that. You gotta be really careful with these things because they will get you even though I'm careful with them every once in a while I get a pretty good abrasion with these things. So you gotta be careful. And they're coming out fairly easy. You also want to make sure why you while you're taking these out that you don't damage your contents. Alright, a couple more to go. And let's see, over here. Alright, so I got all those out. Slide them over. And I got a little bit of packing tape to cut. I hear it in there. Okay. I don't know. I might be pouring this out. No, nope, I think I can get it. There we go. Right. So you can see how this is packaged. I'll kind of take all, kind of take all the pieces out here. A whole lot of money for a little bit of metal. Got the instructions here. That is everything. Here we go. Here's all of our parts. The bag full of parts here, all the hardware. So we are ready to put this thing together. So I'm going to read the instructions and I'm going to start building this thing. And then I will come back um, every once in a while and show you my status. So I'm working on number one here, assemble the boom. And... Uh, I got this side together and then I came over to do this one 
and try to put the screw hardware through. And you can see my, my holes aligned here, but not here. And then when I try to align them, the holes for the elements here and here don't line up. They're off offset. So I chose to put the hose clamp on for now to hold it. And then after I get all the elements installed, then I will straighten it up so all the elements are in a row. And then I'll mess with this hole here to see if I can get it lined up properly and get a bolt in there. I'll get a screw in there and uh, move on to the next step. So that, actually not move on to the next step. That will be probably one of the last steps is after I get all these elements over here put on. Get everything straightened up with these hose clamps and then we'll see where the holes lie. Right now, not looking too good. Okay, we are on step two, and we had more fun. When I went to put these uh, these little pieces on here, um, this tape or whatever, this gasket material, whatever they're using it for, came out of the inside of this uh, what they call a T-match strap. And I assume that it's insulate to insulate the driven unit, or insulate this, these two from each other, put it that way. So that's no good. There's no way for me to get that back in there. I didn't know it was in there. I don't know if the other one has it or not. Who knows? So what I did was I took some electrical tape and I wrapped it around just one turn. I wrapped it around and then I cut off the excess. Now these, the distance from here, and it looks like in the instructions, uh, it tells you right here is the screw, this one here, to this uh, T-match strap. It looks like it's right at the end of it, or edge of it, I'm sorry, right here. So I measure from here over to the edge, four and a half inches. Now this line was off for some reason, I don't know why. But uh, anyway, so... I have this one measured from the center of the screw to this edge here. So that's what it looks like right here. It doesn't really show it in the middle, but it shows it kind of on the edge. Bad drawing. Uh, so that's how I did it. So they're both the same. But this stuff here, it came out of the inside of this T-match strap. So the only thing I could do was to put some electrical tape on it. And I think that's a way nicer solution than what they did. What other issues did I have? The holes pretty much matched up. Everything looks decent. So uh, I'm going to move on from here. So take your time. Learn from my mistakes. Learn from my experience with putting this together. That not everything uh, is, you know, this thing is not manufactured to Six Sigma standards. Not even close. I can already see down, down here that the holes don't line up for the elements. They just, they're not lined up at all. So I'm going to just keep going and uh, see where I end up with this. But hopefully I don't have to send anything back or ask for different parts. So let's keep moving on it. If anybody else, also, if anybody else has put one of these together that's on the channel, let me know how you did it. Let me know about this stuff. You know, was I supposed to take that off or what? There's nothing in the instructions that tell you to take it off. There's no mention at all in the instructions that that's even there. So, but it goes on the inside of it. There's holes in here that match up to the holes that were in this strap. So I assume it's supposed to be there. I tried to scrape it off the other one, but it would not scrape off. So I don't know if it was just something that's done during manufacture or what. So anyway, I insulated it. So I'm going to have to investigate whether that's the proper thing to do or not. Well, I'm at the point where I'm going to put the elements on. I got a new problem. Um, it calls for these key. The key here says to use a uh, screw number 120, which is this one, a two inch uh, screw. And then they go in here. So I try to put it in and immediately you can see the hole is not as 
it's not big enough. So I tried to screw it in with that and I started tapping threads. So I'm going to have to uh, get the drill bit out, you know, the proper drill bit size and uh, drill these out. I can't even screw it in at all. It just, <laughs> it just won't go through. Uh, you can see you can see there where I started tapping threads. So this screw, this hole is not tapped or is not drilled out wide enough for this screw to go through. So I will fix that. So let me do that. On all of them, I checked them all. They're all the same. So I don't know if they gave me the wrong screws or what. All the screws match up to what it's saying here, but it doesn't fit through the holes. So. And they're like that it's like that in all the elements so i will get a drill bit out that's a little bit larger than that and drill them out okay i am back and i did get this first one mounted what i had to do is i took the uh the original size of the hole was 564 or uh, 530 seconds and I ran the drill through it, trying to just open it up a little bit, and it didn't work. So I had to go up to 1164, which it really takes away a lot of the material. But uh, it was actually probably what these pieces here are drilled out to. So there's just no way to get the screw through there unless you do that. So I drilled it out and put it on. It looks pretty nice. And well, I guess I'm going to have to do that to all of them. So let me work on putting all these on. There's a lot of them, and then I'll come back. Well, I'm back to show you where I'm at. So, uh, as you can see, these screws here, there's supposed to be 12 of them. The driven element is one element, and then there's 12 other ones, so you need 12 screws. But, here's the screws installed on this part, and then when you get to, you know, when these slide together, this diameter gets larger those little screws don't fit anymore. So you have to go to a next size bigger screw, which they don't call out for in the instructions. And they don't give you enough of these, these screws here. So all I have left of is four, but I couldn't use them. At least I couldn't use them here. Now I'll be able to use them here because see, we go, if we step back down in size of pipe, our OD is smaller. So I think I should be able to use these screws in here, and this part, well, this, this part here. That's not the biggest problem. Do you see my driven element down there? Do you see my driven element? It's not even close to having the holes drilled in the right spot. It is way out, probably about an inch, inch and a half out from being parallel with the rest of them. <laughs> How do I show you? There you go, there's a better. So really not even close to being right. So I'll have to try to finagle with that and try to figure out how to get that aligned. So, so far my experience with the first four feet of this antenna is I wouldn't buy it. I would not buy it unless they improve their quality. This is a quality problem. So oh, I'm going to try to, when I get this thing assembled, take the back half off and try to get that aligned properly. I don't know if the brackets are bent or what's going on. I know down here, down here in the matchbox, I think it's on the other side, this, this bracket is not mounted properly. So I might have to do a little bending on this thing and get it right. I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, I can. Well, it's really hard to tell, but that bracket's not parallel to the box, so I might be able to take those little bitty bolts loose and move that. I don't know. So I'll try to fix that. So far, I've been working on this for about an hour and a half, closing in on two hours, and I'm not even halfway done yet. So what I did to solve this issue of the the holes not being large enough for the screws. I just made myself a little cradle out of wood. And then I just come down with a drill press and drill them out. I only go halfway and then turn it and go halfway in case you're not coming down square. 
Oh, that'll help you out. So just go halfway on one, one side and flip it and do halfway on the other. Don't go all the way through because if you start going through kitty wampus, it's going to come out bad. So you don't want that. So that's where I go. It takes a lot of material away. You can see there's not a lot of material left, even with the holes I got drilled now. So this part here needs to be slightly larger. And then they need to learn how to size the holes properly for the screws. I can't get the screws in at all. They won't slide through. They won't, you know, like I said, when I go to try to power them in, it starts cutting threads, so it's way too tight. So this drill bit here is just slightly too big. I should have gone with a, some sort of metric. I'm going to have to go back through my bit selection, see if I have any metrics that will fit that. You know, just in between the two sizes of the standard sizes. Just something slightly bigger in the metric. So it's uh, working the way I'm doing it, though. There's not a whole lot of room left when I uh, drill the hole for the screw to go through. I mean, it, it slides in nice. But the material down here, it takes off a lot right there and uh, not good situation. So if you were to power that in like I was, you might end up breaking this here because there's just not enough material there to give it the support. So I'm drilling them out. I can't imagine that, uh, you know, all the people who have these, this, this antenna has been around for a long time. And the fact that they don't have the process in order... After all these years, it's just amazing to me. So, let me do some drilling. All right, I wanted to take a break here and show you that I've gotten the whole antenna put together. And we have a couple more challenges. Um, you'll see that down here, the elements are not lined up. Huh, let's go over here. You can see, uh, let's see if I can get my finger up there. This element and this one down here, you can see the difference of where they need to go. So this this whole thing needs to go, it needs to be turned like that. So over here is the holes that they've drilled. And if I was to put put my hardware through that hole and leave it the way it is this would be way off uh, right right there you can see it would be way off it's kind of really difficult to see but you can see that the elements are off and then we have our driven element that is also off so you can see that's nowhere near being where it needs to go it's very difficult to try to there it's very difficult to try to show you that but it's also off so i when it comes to the driven element in the matchbox i don't know what's causing that i don't know if i can bend this to fix it or not i may have to call uh Cushcraft and see what they have to say about it. I did measure between each of the elements to make sure that they're the proper distance and that seemed to be all right. They're not exactly right in the, the length of the elements are not exactly what they say they should be. So what I'm going to do for this front part is I'm just going to turn it and match it to the way it looks good, you know, so they're all lined up and then drill new holes and then uh, fasten that and the matchbox I'm going to mess with that and see what's going on the bracket looks like it's mounted to the the uh, boom properly but for some reason it's not right there so I don't know if it's the hole down here that's off you know this one here or what's happened so I'm gonna loosen it all up see if it'll move around for me and then see if I can get it aligned and I do know that this bracket here is not right so I might take these two I might take the cover off 
and take these loose and see if I can move that. I don't know what to do. So there's a lot of challenges, but so far I got the antenna together. It's almost done. Um, it was rough. I mean, if you don't, I, you know, like these, each one of these I had to drill out to get, make, to get this, uh, this hardware to fit. Um, I did it on the drill press. It was not easy to do by hand. You shouldn't have to do it at all. Um, I don't know why it was like that, but uh, the screws were way too big for the hole. So, and then uh, I had some extra stuff here. These, I, they weren't even necessary at all. And I'm gonna have some extra parts. So they just have parts bags that they send. And then of course this cellophane, whatever this stuff is, you can see the hole in it right here by my thumb. Uh, there. So they went up inside here. And I don't know. I assume it's supposed to be isolated. This is supposed to be isolated from this, I guess. So I'm not sure. So I'm going to talk to them about that too. So see what they say. I might have not needed to put the electrical tape on there. I don't know. I'm not that great at antenna theory. I am good at putting kits together. I'm not good, that great at antenna theory, so. Um, so I've learned a lot putting this together. I learned not to give up, for sure. Of course, I've learned that lesson many times. Do not give up. Uh, just keep working at it, and you'll figure out a solution eventually. So what I'll do is I will mark this this right here so I don't lose it when I go to turn this, because uh, this, this hole might go out of sight, and I want to make sure I don't mess with how long the boom is. But if you look underneath the boom here, you'll see that the holes are perfectly aligned. And then down here, of course, we're not close. And then, of course, we're not uh, in, a, in alignment at all with my other elements. So it doesn't matter where the hole is. If they matched up here, they're still draw, drilled and they still have been dr drilled <laughs> in the wrong spot. So... <laughs> Anyway, I'll work on that and I'll come back. Alrighty, we are back again. And I don't know if you can see it. It's very difficult to video this part. But I did turn the mast and was able to get everything all lined up. And now you'll see that the Griven element down there is also fairly decent. Just a little bit out. And let me go to show you what I did to fix that. So this here turned to be, I just had to turn this, this, this mast a little bit, this part of the boom a little bit, and line the holes up and then redrill the hole down here. And everything lined up okay. The hardware is wrong. They didn't give me enough of the screws for that. And then this here, I'm going to come around and back here and hold this up. And maybe you can tell it's pretty close. Um, it's just a slight bit off from the rest. There, you can probably kind of tell. There, it's a little bit off. But why? what the conclusion came to is I loosened the hardware all up on both sides, and I tried to see if there was enough slack in there. And there really wasn't. But what I found was these little standoffs here, you could tell they're not punched in the right spot. So you can see that there's some hanging off on the right hand side over here. So they're not punched right and maybe not even drilled right. So what I did to fix it was I took it, I took this thing all loose and I turned this the opposite direction. I just flipped it around. And that helped me out a little bit. And I didn't bend on anything. I didn't bend anything. I just moved those around. Then I found that some of the other elements weren't lined up, so I did the same thing to them. And it just seems like, uh, you know, that's the way these things are made. They're not, they're just a little bit off. So if you're putting this together and you have some that are out of alignment, you might want to turn them around and, and it might help you out. Um, I did call Cushcraft Technical Support 
about these clamps here or these spacers or whatever they call them. I can't remember. T-match spacers or whatever. To find out if they're supposed to be um, insulated from each other. So I should be getting some info back on that. I know if I was a uh, you know, a big antenna builder, I probably would know for sure myself. But right now I do not know, so I'm calling them. Because uh, I'm not really sure why that was in there. Seems pretty... Seems like it's, there's not much to this stuff. If that's what it's for. But it's really hard for me to try to stretch out, though. You can see that there's a hole there, and that's for where the screw goes through. And then there was a hole there, and then one there. So I assumed it's supposed to be in there. Who knows? So I have a call in to them. So hopefully they'll call me back. They say their technical support is all working from home. So there's nobody in the office to take my call. So that's not good either. So a lot of so's. <laughs> I guess my takeaway so far is don't give up on this antenna. There's a lot of issues with the assembly of it. Uh, we'll see how the performance, what the performance is. Uh, but I think I got most of it put together properly. I think I got it put together properly. So, uh, yeah, these little standoffs, they caused me some issues. And then uh, not having the, the right size hole drilled for these elements, that was something else too. I don't know if whoever made these, this part had the wrong drill bit size in there in the machine or what uh, if you've ever looked at uh, how some of these are made uh, they're not really in a controlled environment sometimes so I tell you uh, you know if I did this again now that I have this one I don't worry I'm not going to worry about it but in the future I guess I probably would be just as easy for me to make one if I could find all the pieces I need to make it um, another thing I was kind of not happy about <laughs> was when they put this cover on, they really cinched down these screws and caused this to bow right there. So I don't know if I'm going to get water leaking in there or not. So I'm going to end up having to talk to technical support and see what they say. I know if I look at other videos on the internet, people were having trouble with these this cover leaking. So they cover them all up with all kinds of goo to try to keep it from leaking. I don't want to have to do that, but I might have to do that anyway. So, yeah. Very interesting video. Um, I went through a lot of issues that I did not... Uh, was you know, I didn't know that I was going to have to go through. But it looks like it's together. And I'll come over here to the screw and cut it down so it looks decent. And then, after I talk to Tech Sport, I'll find out what to do about this. And I will tack it on to the end of this video. Uh, what the conclusion is for this matching section here. And the next time you see this thing, it will be hopefully up on my tower. Well, <laughs> I, I want to say that that was fun. Um, I like putting kits together, but I don't want to have to redrill holes and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't have a good time putting this together. It wasn't fun for me. Um, I'm happy now that it's together, but it wasn't fun for me to put together. I put other antennas together. I never had this kind of problem, so I don't know. <sighs> it's together. So I'll let you know what they say about this matching section here, what if it should be insulated or not. And if it's not supposed to, I'll just take that tape off. But you guys out there, you may know better than I do. So you might leave it in the comments what you thought. And what you what, what would you have done in this situation? Would you have sent this antenna back if you had to do all this? Maybe you don't have the tools. Maybe you don't have the know-how how to do this. Or you, know, you got to think about what you got to do to solve this problem. So... And that was definitely a lot of thinking going on, the proper thing to do. Especially cutting, drilling those holes out in the elements a little larger. Uh, there was no way that hardware was going through those holes. And I had to dr take a chance and drill drill them out and make sure I wasn't screwing, screwing them up. So what would you have done in that situation? Would you just put it back in the box and send it back? 
you know, I thought about it, but wow, what a pain. You know, it was really hard to get this one. A lot of places were out of stock on this antenna. And this antenna, I searched, it was, it's been around for a long time, so it's not new. So you think after all the, this, these years, and we're talking years of this antenna being produced, that everything, all the issues would be ironed out. But it seems like they just want to go a certain level with quality, and then that's it. And let the customer fix, or, or let the customer fix it, or, or call them and, and let them know what the problem is, and then they, they fix it for you, or whatever. I don't know. What would they have done? Sent me another antenna that was equally bad? I don't know what they would have done. But it's not good when you offer a kit, which is basically how you sent it to me, and the kit has issues so what would you have done anyway we're in it on a positive note it's together so thank you very much for being here today like and subscribe to my channel when i find out about the trans match i'll probably put it in the comments section and if it turns into be something more than just put the insulation on there or not i will make another video thank you and have a good one